Stefan Zweig's The Invisible Collection and Butch Mendel are poignant explorations of memory, loss, and the passage of time, each story offering a unique perspective on the human experience. In The Invisible Collection, Zweig tells the story of an elderly art collector who has meticulously assembled a priceless collection of prints over his lifetime. The narrator, an art dealer, visits this collector and discovers that the man is now blind, unable to see the artworks he cherishes so deeply. The collector's blindness is symbolic, representing the broader themes of loss and the fragility of human accomplishments. Despite his blindness, the collector's vivid descriptions of his prints reveal a deep emotional connection and a rich inner life that transcends his physical limitations. This story is a meditation on the enduring power of art and memory, even in the face of inevitable decline. The collector's reliance on his memories to see his collection highlights the human capacity to find beauty and meaning in the past, even when the present offers little solace. Butch Mendel centers on Jacob Mendel, a book peddler who spends his days in a Viennese cafe, surrounded by his beloved books. Mendel is a human catalog, with an encyclopedic knowledge of literature that makes him an invaluable resource for scholars and collectors. However, the outbreak of World War I shatters Mendel's world. As an immigrant, he is detained and his life is irrevocably altered. When the narrator returns to the café years later, he finds that Mendel has been forgotten, his once vibrant presence reduced to a faded memory. The story underscores the devastating impact of war on individuals and cultural memory. Mendel's decline symbolizes the broader erasure of knowledge and tradition brought about by the upheavals of the 20th century. The café, once a hub of intellectual activity, becomes a silent witness to Mendel's tragic fate, illustrating how easily human achievements can be obliterated by historical forces. Both stories share a common thread of nostalgia and the impermanence of human endeavors. Zweig's prose captures the poignancy of lost worlds and the lingering echoes of the past. In The Invisible Collection, the blind collector's home becomes a shrine to his memories, each print a testament to his lifelong passion. His detailed descriptions of the prints serve as a bridge between his inner vision and the outside world, emphasizing the power of memory to sustain the human spirit. Similarly, in Butch Mendel, the café is a space where the past and present intersect. Mendel's encyclopedic knowledge and his dedication to books are portrayed with reverence, yet his eventual downfall reflects the harsh realities of a world in turmoil. Zweig's portrayal of his characters is deeply empathetic, highlighting their vulnerability and resilience. The collector's blindness and Mendel's decline are treated not just as personal tragedies, but as reflections of a broader societal malaise. The stories evoke a sense of mourning for a lost era, a time when art and literature were treasured, and individuals like the collector and Mendel were revered for their knowledge and passion. The melancholic tone that pervades both stories is tempered by moments of beauty and insight, as Zweig reminds readers of the enduring power of human creativity and the importance of preserving cultural heritage. Through The Invisible Collection and Butch Mendel, Zweig explores the complex interplay between memory, identity, and history. His characters are custodians of cultural memory, their lives intertwined with the art and literature they love. Yet, their fates reveal the precariousness of human accomplishments in the face of time and change. Zweig's masterful storytelling and keen psychological insight make these stories timeless meditations on the human condition. They invite readers to reflect on their own relationship with the past and the ways in which memories shape and define their lives. In the end, Zweig's tales are a tribute to the enduring power of the human spirit and the inexorable passage of time.